Hi! All the vintage Geiger counters are a lot of fun. Not only they were built like tanks, but they also have a certain character and feel to them. Unfortunately, the calibration on them might be a bit off as a result of their aging components. Today, I want to show you how you can easily calibrate your Geiger counter so that it shows accurate readings again. In order to do this, you will need a multimeter with two probes and a 1 giga ohm resistor for measuring the high voltage, a pulser, and your Geiger counter with a cable to connect a GM probe. Firstly, you will need to check if the voltage on your Geiger counter is correct using a multimeter and a 1 giga ohm resistor. I already made a video about it, which I have linked in the description below. The next step is to connect the pulser to the Geiger counter. A pulser will generate clicks at a consistent rate, which will allow us to calibrate the meter. I personally use one made by Geoelectronics, and I can highly recommend it, but other options should also work fine. Now simply turn on your Geiger counter and set your pulser to generate a desired amount of clicks. Make sure the needle on the meter is showing the correct amount of CPM generated by the pulser on every scale. If it's not, then adjust the calibration potentiometers until it sits right where you want it. If your Geiger counter uses those units such as microsieverts per hour, then you'll need to find a conversion ratio from a CPM to microsieverts per hour for the GM tube used in your meter. I've attached a link in the video description to an article which covers most commonly used GM tubes and gives a rough conversion ratio for CPM to microsieverts per hour for them. Please note that this isn't very accurate and if possible you should use CPM when measuring the activity of samples. Those units work only when the meter is calibrated to the specific isotope which is being measured. In other cases, the readings can be lower or higher than in reality. Congratulations! You have now successfully calibrated your Geiger counter. However, if you are a professional and you want the most accurate calibration of your meter, then you should probably send your meter to a professional lab but for most hobbyists, this method should be more than enough. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Also feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee and support my work financially. And remember, stay active!